Okay, just wanted to show uh, a new feature in the new Kiss Slicer release candidate. Um, it's over here, it's called Lock Pass, and uh, it's a really amazing feature. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. And here's how it works. So notice I have three components, three parts on my, my plate here ready to slice. I've picked um, my normal rounded infill um, style. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and click on the slice button. It's going to slice these three parts. <clears throat> okay, almost done. Okay, now that the parts are sliced, these parts are all sliced with exactly the same parameters uh, that are um, set up in my style um, dialog here. I'm going to click the lock pass on the uh, the two larger round parts here and not click lock pass on this click uh, spindle uh, which is a part of my fly fishing reel. And I do that because what I'm telling KISS to do is to, to lock the current attributes it's sliced with on these two parts here in the back. That allows me then to go over here and choose a different set of slicing parameters. Um, and in this case, I'm going to use uh, click check 33% rounded infill. And you'll see a couple of things. It's changed the extrusion width. I'm using a 0.36 extrusion width. And that's so I can get good uh, perimeters and infill in these very thin little teeth areas. You'll see that in a second. Um, I'm using a 0.15 layer thickness rather than a 0.2 layer thickness for, for strength for this part. Um, and I think pretty much everything else is about the same. I'll go up here and I'll click slice. And now you'll notice it's only going to slice that one part. Leaving the other two parts uh, sliced as they were. So what this feature lock paths allows you to do is apply different slicing attributes to each of uh, the individual components um, on your on your print platter. Really, really cool feature. So now let's uh, let's take a look at what that does. I'm going to zoom down so I can look at um, layers and paths, and you'll notice. Um, because the uh, the click spindle is uh, printing with thinner layers, it's going to print that uh, part first, and um, because it's a thinner layer. And let's uh, scroll up to the next layer. Now it's printing the two layers for my um, my reels, and it's going to go and print the next layer there and there and there and there and there and there. And while I'm doing this, I realize I made a mistake. I chose the wrong slicing attributes for my, my two larger uh, spool components. I actually wanted to print them with the infill exposed. So what I'm gonna do is uncheck the lock paths for those two parts. I'm going to lock paths for the spindle. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to check, uh, I'm gonna select my, um, yeah, let's see, I think it's just 33% rounded infill, no skin is the one I normally use, 0.4, 3.5, yes, that's correct. Um, and I'm going to slice again. So now you'll see it's only slicing those two parts, leaving my original spindle alone. Um, now let's take a look at the layers. So, boom, ah, yes, see, now you can see my infill is exposed, and I can build up the parts. And you'll, you can kind of see how it uh, jockeys back and forth between the layers because of the different layer heights in the two, the two sets of parts. Very, very powerful, very, very cool feature. It's uh, brand new in uh, the latest couple of release candidates. Um, absolutely check it out.